as we've expanded, uh, we've had great years of relationships with the folks in Hood River uh, and the port of, uh, of Hood River. Uh, now we are super honored uh, and had nothing but warm welcome and very helpful arms here in Cascade Locks. This is our brew house as it stands. Uh, it's currently a 15 barrel, four vessel system, which means we currently brew around 500 gallons at a time. We first started with two vessel. Those have originally been replaced. It's been expanded to four over the years. What it allows us to do is fill up uh, one of these 90 barrel fermenters in a day, which is just shy of 3,000 gallons of beer. But we've hit a point in time where we can't really brew any more beer on our system. So what we're gonna walk through today and see is everything that we're doing in order to make more beer get to you. Over the years, we've been able to build up and expand our capacity by utilizing what was uh, 5,000 square feet to now that we have uh, a little over 20,000 square feet here at our current frame facility with about another six or 7,000 square feet of offsite cold storage. Uh, and then we have another six or 7,000 feet of dry storage. We utilize this flux area uh, currently in order to make everything we do happen. But as you see, as we walk around our facility, we're a little bit strapped. Things are a little bit disarray. We're definitely about to take a space that's been pushed and maximized a lot of ways and about to transition it out to be able to do significantly more than we currently have. This is one of the noisier areas of brewery, so I'll try to be brief. Hi, Maddie. This is where we're gonna finish the beer and I get it ready for packaging. We're currently rolling our centrifuge, part of the phase two construction. We'll be putting in a larger centrifuge will help us do more throughput and capacity. This is how we keg the beer. At the moment, it's gonna satisfy our needs. Uh, eventually one day we'll need to upgrade, but it's still doing what it needs to do for right now. This is a new canning line that we put in this summer uh, that's allowing us to keep up with current capacity. It's only gonna carry us for another year or two. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving the cold box here tearing out some of these walls, a lot of the other associated storage equipment and other surrounding areas will all be moved off site. And we'll be putting in a much larger, much more robust uh, packaging line uh, that'll be able to handle about five times the amount of throughput as our current canning. And we'll be resetting up our bottling line as well. about to break ground on our next round of construction and this is the main area that will be kicking off uh, the first part of the, what we're calling the second phase of our expansion project. Uh, we're gonna have a lot going on right back here. Right now it looks like a bomb went off. We have uh, raw ingredients stored outside that are getting ready to go into brews later today. Cans lined up out here, trucks everywhere. Um, it's a busy day at Freem. Extra disarray, but the idea out here, we're gonna be able to take the brewery to the next level. Uh, right over here, uh, we'll be putting in a full-blown wastewater treatment plant. Uh, we're ripping up part of the parking lot and that whole area of ground over there. Right where I'm standing here, there's gonna be about a 2,000 square foot brew house support malt house that will allow us to get everything in uh, the most high quality, best way uh, to our new brew house. So for years, we've had all of our wood and barrel age program on this part of the building. Uh, it has been a wonderful, uh, amazing part of our facility. Uh, it has been size constraint to how much we can grow it. Uh, we are landlocked over here. We're gonna have all this open space here and we'll be tearing up the floors, uh, putting in more infrastructure. And then what we're gonna be able to do is install a uh, five vessel, uh, 40 hectoliter uh, German made brew house. It'll span 
from uh, the back of the south wall here, uh, all the way, if you can see, towards the edge of that structure there. So everything that I touch on outside is gonna be support for our new brew house. Uh, and once we have our new brew house up and coming, or up online, what we'll be able to do is be able to fill up more tanks. So if you follow me over this way. These are the new 210 barrel fermenters that we put in uh, this past winter. Uh, that is worth about 10,000 barrels of fermentation capacity. Once we have the wood moved over here, we're gonna fill out the rest of the cellar uh, with these large tanks. And that's gonna take our 30,000 barrel facility and turn it into about a 60,000 barrel a year facility. We are incredibly excited uh, to be able to take all these wonderful programs and be able to move it to Cascade Locks. So we are heading to beautiful Cascade Locks, Oregon. It's sort of the quintessential model of Point. And it's right at the Bridge of the Gods. Gorgeous little town right on the Columbia River. You can get a cheeseburger for $5.50 uh, and they'll put jalapenos on it for no extra charge. They don't make them like that anymore. Look at this sandwich. Mmm, you're gonna make me feel terrible. We're heading there to what will be the site of our brand new facility. It's about four and a half acres. It's flat, it's buildable, and it's absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. So Cascade Locks is the perfect spot for Freem to continue to grow for several reasons. Uh, the first is that it's 20 miles closest to our biggest market, which is Portland. Round trip, 40 miles out of a trip for a truck coming out from Portland to pick up our beer. Our barrel program has grown by leaps and bounds since I first started in 2014. We started off with 14 barrels uh, that were previously used for two turns of Pinot Noir. We use those to age our Flanders Red uh, and then we slowly grew the program from there. We now have uh, a little more than 800 oak barrels, Pinot Noir barrels, neutral French oak, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, bourbon, scotch, rum, tequila, mezcal, port, sherry, uh, basically anything you can imagine, maple syrup, and we are completely out of space. What Cascade Locks means is that we can continue to grow those programs and bring uh, more of those beers at a higher quality to uh, all of you, to you guys, yeah. So I'm over the moon excited, not only to have some more space, but also to be uh, working in a facility that's specifically designed for this purpose. It's gonna be so sexy, so sexy. Our mission with that whole program has not just been to make uh, barrel-aged beer or barrel-aged beer of a specific style, but rather to make the best beverage that we possibly can. And Cascade Locks will allow us to do that. So right now we're on our way to the construction site. Uh, we're going to meet with a few of the key players involved in designing and actually building our new facility. Once a week we go out and we sit in a dusty construction trailer and uh, we chat about these things. But we'll see. Beer is fun, beer is welcoming, beer brings community, and we're really excited to be part of this community. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please join us on the next episode of Freem Cascade Locks. Right now, it's pretty exciting. We have holes in the ground, uh, there's plumbing going in, sewer, that sort of thing. Next time, there's gonna be a concrete pad, we're gonna build some walls, I'm gonna pour some beers and talk to you about the future of this project.